Hello, and welcome to Mrs. Green Thumb. Today, um, I believe it's day 14. 14, where this beautiful little creature has been sleeping for a while and it's crystalline. And I roughly believe, from the, the videos I've had before, where it's going to be 11 days, give or take. So if I thought about it, I believe this is three days so far. It's three days old in the chrysalis. Yeah, three days. So it's three, uh, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that's eight more days. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, it's looking, you can see it's more translucent. It's a little darker in color. And I definitely see a line across the top. Uh, a white and black line. I'm seeing lines. It's really more noticeable now. Um, yeah. So I'm going to move it in. And let's, I'm going to move it in. I just want to be careful. I'll put these little, there, let's see. Let's see what you can see. There it is. There it is, and I, the lines are definitely there. I wonder if I can use a magnifying glass. I'm not gonna touch it. I, I barely touched these little butterflies are my craft stuff, and I just stuck them on a little bit easy. I was very careful not to move the chrysalis. But let's see, I'm gonna get down here and see if I see anything today. All right, look, I wonder if I could show you. Look what I see. Oh, you don't see it very well, do you? All right, let's see. Oh. I don't see the two black lines and the dot not yet forming, but I definitely see, you can kind of see through and you see black. The very top is black and white. It's starting to go brown on the top where it's white and clear. And yeah, and at this point, I think it probably could hear me. I think it could hear me the whole time, but I'm not positive. But I do not see the lines yet. So as it go, the time goes, I'm going to see if I see those two dots, the dash. Or two dots and two dashes to see if it's a girl or not. <clears throat> oh, hey, Will. Hi. Yeah. I, it is too. Let me see. I don't think, let me see. Well, it's starting to change. I'm going to put it in as much as I can. I don't want to touch the netting. Let's see. Move it up a little more. Let's see. Well, yeah, it's still dark. I can't help it because of the netting. There's nothing I can do. I tried using a magnifying glass to see if you could see the line there, but really you can't see much more. But definitely changing in color. To note that, and I definitely see a white and a black line kind of on the back of it. Um, I don't see any dots or anything, but uh, ah, thank you, Will. It looks like it's just me and you, not very many people right now, but nonetheless, if people rewatch it, I'll be happy. Um, I we should come on a little later, but I just uh. I just come on when I feel like coming on because I have a break from the garden, a break time from the garden. So I come on uh, and then I'll go back outside and do more gardening. But yeah, I was pulling weeds and doing stuff in the garden and came back and said, okay, it's time to do the vlog. Um, no, they're just a piece of paper like this. Look, I got, that's my craft stuff. Well, you know me as a crafter. So right here, look, I got a bunch when I send things out, I kind of put my emblem as a, I, I did these in Arizona over a year ago. And when I was in Arizona, I printed a bunch out and then I cut them at home. And so when I do things or mail something out, I kind of attached one of these little pictures to it. So no, but I have made them into magnets. Uh, yep. I've made them into magnets. I've made them into different things. I've crafted with them, put them on envelopes in the mail. So they look kind of cool. And they're kind of almost the size of, I could have put smaller ones, but I didn't want to do that because that's about the size of a monarch butterfly right there. So I left that size on there. Hey, Susan, you caught me. Hi, doll. I should have came on later, but sometimes you guys are going to catch me at 2 o'clock because I, I do my live in the morning. I go up to the garden, and if I got a chance to come back in and have a break, which I am because it's really hot out there, then I'm going to do my vlog when I have a break. 
So um, it's a quiet time, but it's okay. I was just making a comment to see. It has a line now. I wish you could see it. I really do. I wish I, there was a way of showing you the really cool colors this is. There's nothing I can do. I can't show you it because, well, I can't. The netting is safe for the butterfly, and so I have to leave it in there. Um, but, yeah. Hi. 50 minutes live streams, are we? I don't know. We'll see, but I'm not going to do a long, long one. Not these ones there, David. 15, half an hour. Depends on who comes in and when they come in. No more than an hour. I am The mornings are two hours. This one is no no more than an hour, less than that. So just to, to say hi, keep you up to date on what's going on with the butterfly. I was counting um, roughly. I hope you hang in there with me because I think it's we're up to eight days now. I think. I think I counted... I, when I was doing the, the thing, the estimate was about 11 days. So think about it. You can do it with me, guys. If you, The day that it turned into a chrysalis, I don't count that kind of day. The day it turns into a chrysalis, I count starting the next day. So that's been three days um, that it's been a chrysalis. Uh, and if it's 11 days. So we got seven. No, wait a minute. Um, is it eight? Yeah, eight plus three is 11. Doing my math. So we have eight days to go. If all goes well, it, I could be off a day because technically the day at chrysalis could be counting as a day. I don't know. So seven, eight days could be it. Yeah, it started being a butterfly now, David. It's really cool, actually. Um, I don't think you were with me last year. Uh, I, who was with me last year? David, Susan, were you here with me? You were here with me last year? And Will, you were here? You came into my live streams when I was doing the butterflies. Like, who was here? Because David wouldn't have been. Um, you guys have seen this miracle already, I think. Right? Well, were you here with me last year? And Susan? Oh, you didn't see this. It's something to see. Wait until you see this. Like, it's something to see if you have not seen it. I'm going to try. I'm thinking of doing this. In 11 days, last year after. Okay, after the fact you saw it. Okay. Well, I was thinking of doing this. I um, I thought this would be kind of cool, but it, it's a little awkward because I have to turn the sound on. Um, I was thinking of when it comes near 11 days, okay, if it's not hatched by the 11th day, then I'm thinking of running a long live stream where I don't put the sound on and I just let it run so I can get it on camera whether it hatches. Um, I will have to cool off my computer and everything, so I might come in, turn it off, and come back on again. But um, I'm thinking of running it so that maybe I could actually catch – it coming out for you guys right on my live stream. Uh, I'm going to try. That's what I want to do. I want to sit there and, and so um, if I don't catch it now, in 11 days, I'm going to run a very long live stream with probably no sound and just to film it to see if I can get it on a live stream. You guys can come in and out the door and check on it and see what's going on with it and leave comments, but I'm just going to uh, run it. That's what I was thinking of doing. I thought it would be cool to finally officially catch it on my live stream um, it coming out. So we'll see. I'm hoping to do that. Hoping to do that. I'm hoping to, uh, you guys are like aunts and uncles here and you can check in on it, stay and talk to each other. Um, then if you got to go, you go and then you come back later on. But I, I want to do the whole thing. I'm trying to do it all the whole time until it's born. Cause the last time I never caught it officially being born either time. Well, no, I, I really did it. I never caught either time. Two years in a row, I never caught it actually being born, like coming out of the chrysalis. Last year, I didn't because it came out in the middle of the night. And that the same one with the other one came in in the middle of the night. Hey, hey, Chris, how's it going? At work, but stop by, drop the like. Thank you, Chris. Thanks very much. So, yeah, um, that's what I'm going to do. I think you guys can do that. You can come in and out and check in. It might be a very long live stream on the 11 days from now. Well, wait, eight. Eight days from now. If it's not born in eight days, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit there and do a live stream and let it run. And hopefully that'll be 11 days and I'll see it being born on camera. That's my ultimate goal. I want to see it come out and I have it on, on my live stream. I think it's going to be really cool. So, and then you just come in that, out the door. You, you'll see me live streaming, and, never, and if you want to jump in and someone says, oh, she's not here, you guys as a mod can go and say, oh, she's just letting it run. We want to see it uh, being, you know, born out of the chrysalis, and she's trying to run it so we catch it on film so or catch it on a live stream. 
Anyways, that's my ultimate goal. I think it'll be really cool to finish off this particular butterfly. And then I'm going to probably, if I get more eggs, you're going to see from the start to finish in a different way. Yeah, actually, I never, this would be my first time. If I could do more than two, that'll be my first time I've ever done a massive amount of butterflies. That should be interesting to see too. Or I'm not doing just one, but more. And Chris wants to say hello to everybody in chat. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see. It's not, I mean, I wish I could see the front of it. I really can't, and I'm not going to fool around with it now. Uh, and I'm debating on the day of the live stream. I might flip the container around so that you can see it better. If I catch it on camera, you're going to see it better. You'll, it's from a distance, but you'll at least get to see it coming out. So I'm, I'm tempted to do that. Well, it looks like Chris left. Or somebody left the building. Got three and three. Thank you so much. Three people, three thumbs up. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, we got two now. Two people here, three thumbs up. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know you did. I know you did, Susan. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming. Probably give her a treat. I'm going to have to get some branches, too. I'm going to only put branches in there after she's born to, to let her fly around on a branch and see what she does. I'm um, listen, trying to get into my email. Oh, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, guys, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you coming. That's why I'm not going to stay too long, though. Probably 15 minutes is good because it's kind of slow and, you know, you know what it is, how it is. If it's slow, I'm just staying 15 minutes. But I did put my uh, vlog in for today. Day 14. 14. Okay, so Will, were you here? You, Will was here last night. So Susan, you came after and joined my channel. Um, David, twenty ten, came after, so he didn't see it. But I think Will, you were here last year when you saw it. I think you did, right? Thanks, Will. So I wanted to make it every day. I'm going to make it a different thumbnail. I was trying to make it one day. I put magnifying glass one day. I put butterflies tomorrow. I think I'll put a magnifying and butterfly as some kind of thumbnail to make it look kind of cool. Uh, I'm trying to work with what I can do for to make it a get people's attention to come into the channel and watch it. So, and I also want to get more about, Oh yeah, I forgot to, to put, uh, I want to put a notation on the day I did it. When it went to a chrysalid, I want to notate that live stream. So I have that there, yeah. You were, eh? Um, yeah, I got to go back to put this note. This is the day it went to a chrysalid. And I forget what day that was. That was What did I say, three days ago? Three full days, so yeah. Yeah, the monarch butterflies are beautiful. Last year, it takes a lot of time, patience, and work. It does. I don't think people realize that. Doesn't realize that, that, that if you think about it, okay, and it takes, all right, so you got, what did I start? Um, 
12, it took 12 days to get to the site to, I think up to being 12 days to get up to be a chrysalis from 12 days. It's roughly another 11 days. So we're talking about 23 days to get it just to become a butterfly. And then after 23 days, a couple days to get it, I got to get it and, and I got to get it comfortable and set it off. So it takes, I'm not already. So let's say, what did I say? 12, 20, 23 plus a couple more days. So we're talking about at least 25 days uh, to make sure you have, like you said, well, patience and time to raise it right. Thanks, Rachel. 25 days I have into it before I let it go at least. One to two days to kind of feed it, uh, to make sure it's flying right and it's in good shape. And then I release it. So, yeah, 25 days of my time. But uh, it's well worth it. Oh, you like the butterfly in there? Thanks. I was trying to put a, some kind of attention, Rachel, to make people come into it to see the butterfly. Yeah, I hope. Um, I hope. Hmm, that people, I could do some kind of thumbnail that would attract more people in. But otherwise, it's all good. It's okay. I, you know, all I said is if you can't come to it, I got people re-watching it and leaving me comments. And that means a lot to me. So if you can't come because I just pop up, um, and if you rewatch it, um, I notice it. I appreciate it because I saw Chef comes in here. Chef told me, don't think I'm not there. I'm re-watching your live streams if I'm not there on the butterflies. So... I know that people, when they can't attend, rewatch it, and that's very helpful to me. And if you want to leave a comment to tell me you were there, at least I know you visited me. That's good, too. Um, but it helps. I have to come up with a better plan to get the word out better, though. I don't really feel like I'm accomplishing as much as I want to accomplish about getting it out. I mean, you guys are all family. You're friends, and you're awesome to me. I appreciate that. But this is just amongst, you know, 10 people or less, and – um I really need to work on figuring out how to get this out. Me too, Will. That's that's well said. Uh, their wings are so fragile. I pray that I'm going to, you're going to see, Will, if you remember, I have to hold the wings when it's first to first feed it. You're going to see I'm very gentle, but I have to hold the two wings close together in order to force it, like to teach it how to eat. That's kind of what I do. I mean, it would figure it out anyways on flowers, but uh, what I'm going to do is as soon as it gets hatched, I'm going to put my honey solution and I'm going to feed it the day it's born. Then I'm going to put some flowers in it. So I want it to get used to the smells of around when I let it go. Um, let it smell the flowers and, you know, a day. I'm going to take keep it for a day or two days and then it's gone. But I just want to make sure it has a good start. It's fed good. It understands. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, she's good at this. Well, thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. If that's for me, um, uh, the fireworks, well, they didn't go as good as, ex they did okay. Well, actually I take that back. Um, we went around and we tried to find fireworks. We had nowhere to park to watch them, but we went for a nice ride. We did see some fireworks. My mom got to see some fireworks. Yes, I did. I got a strawberry lemonade. I did, Rachel, last night. Um, I, what did my mom want? My mom drinks decaf at night, so she had a decaf coffee. Trucker man did, um, uh, he got a normal lemonade, and I got a raspberry lemonade, which are delicious. And so I got my lemonade, like I said, went for a nice ride. Um, we didn't have anywhere to park to see fireworks, but we drove and we did see fireworks. Then what was really funny for my Bob, we had a couple fireworks, tiny ones that were left over in our garage because we've been cleaning the garage, like I said. So we let them off for her. It was so funny. Um, we only had like <laughs> three little teeny fireworks. So we let the one off. It went, went ee, bing. And then the other two just did a little kind of tiny sound. And it was funny. But uh, yeah, at least she got some fireworks. She was happy. She said, at least I got something. So maybe next year she'll be 90. Um, and thank God I need her. So I hope she's still around and uh, in the best shape she can possibly be. And we can have a little more. Wouldn't that be funny, though? I wish I had the money. Um, I would love to buy her 90 because, you know, that's a 90 years old. I'd love to set her birthday off or especially the year of her birthday, which she's um, her birthday is in June 12th. And my husband's is June 10th. And so when fire, first of July comes, wouldn't that be cool? If I could set off 90 fireworks on behalf of my mom, 
next year. But that could be a big price unless I get her all tiny little cheap uh, fireworks. I think that would be kind of fun. She would love that. She would absolutely love it because we were raised with fireworks and she would always set them off when I was a kid. So I, because she's the one who said, do you think we could go for a ride? Yeah. Well, I, what, I think that would be cool, Rachel, to get 90 fireworks. I should. I'm going to think about it. Um, a bottle, we, we don't have the same as you, Will. Like, we, have, we don't have the same um, fireworks as you in the States. We have Ours are a little more expensive than in the States. And I can't bring back the American uh, fireworks to not come over here. We have to get the Canadian ones, but um, I... I, I would love to do that, though. I would. I, so I'm going to work on it. I'm going to see if I can possibly work that next year to do a big display. 90, 90 fireworks would be fun to set off. Like not in a row or whatever, because that would probably kill us to try to do 90 in a row. But, yeah, I'll have to do that. <laughs> and if I do that, of course, I'll bring it and show you guys. But um, that's a whole year from now. So my memory could suck. I won't remember Rachel, remind me next year. Uh, remind me in a year from now before my mom's birthday. Well, it's not going to be on her birthday because we're not allowed to set fireworks. But you can remind me in June. Don't forget, if you can can afford to get the fireworks, you should, should set up 90. And if somebody reminds me, that'll help me out, at least get me started in June to say, yeah, that's right. I said that a year ago. I should get my act together, see if I can find them. Um, that won't kill me, but 90 fireworks, it won't be too, too costly. I think that would be a cool surprise for her. I'm already surprising. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to blow up that picture of my husband with the Blue Jay. So I think that's going to be a really cool, unique picture for her. Yeah, put a big sign in the air. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, whatever. It, it'll be something cool, and I'll show pictures of it if you want. Yeah. I figure you, you got a good memory better than me, probably, Rachel, so... I'll count on you to remind me that from a year from now because it's well we've been we know each other for almost two so I figured you're gonna hang in there with me for the third year so um, it should be pretty cool. I wonder if you could actually tie all the fuses together to make it easier to light the fireworks. You know what? That's what they kind of do. They kind of do that. They do kind of assembly. You're right. They they do it in a lineup and then start the first one and the first one ignites the first one and then the second one. I don't know. Well, maybe that would be kind of cool. I don't know. I have a whole year, a whole year to think about it. Sparkles are the best. Yeah, that's probably the most reasonable. But do you imagine trying to, to light 90 sparkles? I'd burn myself. Oh, we, we do that every year, do you? You light it all up together, Rachel? That's cool. That would be cool. If you do that every year, that'd be great. Yeah, I'll have to think of something. I think that'd be really cool. I'll do something special this year for everybody, like especially my family. I want to do something cool. And I think the big picture with the Blue Jays is something cool. I think fireworks, since my mom loves fireworks so much, I'll do that for next year for kind of like her birthday, July 1st. Yeah, something like that. I could actually do a cake and put sparkles on it if I wanted to, but you imagine trying to light 90 sparkles? Oh, my God. Oh, you know what else is cute? I, this would be kind of – I somebody did for a birthday, but that's 90. I thought this was really cool. They, this was somebody locally I saw doing this. They went to the dollar store and bought, you know, those noodles for the pool. They did the noodles for the pool and they got for their son was turning, I don't know, 18. So they basically got nine can, nine of those things, cut them in half, put tissue paper in the center of it and made them look like candles on the front lawn. Isn't that cool? I thought that was a really cool idea. The noodles, cut them in half, and then you put a little tissue paper in the center of them for like the wick of the candle uh, and a fireworks cake. Yeah, that's cool, eh? Yeah, something like that. Something cool for um, to represent 90 years old. Something cool. Oh, did Susan Lee get her video out as I saw that? 
you have a new video to put out? Or did you put a new video out, Susan? That's what David's asking. Yeah. Do you have a visit video we got to see? Oh, I'm going on half an hour. I love you guys for keeping me busy. I think I'm going to get off, though, in half an hour. I got to go back and do some more garden work. It was so hot. I was pulling weeds like crazy, and I still got lots of weeds. Where are you, Rachel, when I need you? That is a really good idea with the, the the pool noodles. Yeah, that's cool. I will. Anybody want to take that idea? Go for it. I think it's cute. Yeah, David, Rachel's out there. Um, Rachel is going to come to my house one year. She's going to come in the summertime. She can help me pull weeds. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. Come on in the backyard, Rachel. You and Demi can help me pull weeds. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'll I, pull weeds. Yeah, I know you would. I know you would. Actually, I was thinking I had to use your method of thinking it, but it got so hot. Okay, relax. Just pull the weeds out. Think like Rachel. This is relaxing and calming and just pull the weeds out. And then I had, heck, no, it's too hot. I don't know. Get out. <laughs> I actually have, I put garlic back there, okay? The tomatoes are doing really well. But I put garlic on the one edge because I'm thinking, I want to see if the garlic stops animals coming in. Plus, not animals, but bugs because uh, garlic, a lot of bugs don't like it. And I'm going to try that thing. I'm so excited. I was telling my mom in the, about cucumbers on, remember I said it this morning? If you slice cucumbers and put it on a tin pan, I'm hoping they mean aluminum tin pan, uh, it's supposed to take bugs away. Like bugs don't like the mixture of the chemical that comes from, not chemical, but whatever it is that comes off of a cucumber mixed with the tin, uh, it doesn't like the smell of it. So I'm thinking that might work. It's hot here too. It's in the 80s some, somehow, 80s. But anyways, so I'm doing... Not only am I growing garlic, but I'm growing garlic for a reason. I want to see if it's a bug deterrent to do with garlic. Uh, my dad got overheated the other day. My stepmom had to go get him. Yeah, I, I'm careful, though. Like, me and my husband would go, okay, don't stay out there too long. It's a hot one. So we kind of, like, look out for each other going. Uh, but he is happy. I'm telling you. I want to say the word we say, but, oh, thanks. Hey, Paul. Thanks, honey. Hey, Paul. Thank you very much, doll. It's good to see you. Well, I got to stay on for a couple more minutes. Paul's here. But I'm not staying in more than an hour, guys, because I can't do that. I can't. I got to go get some work done. Because if you think about it, that's two hours and this three hours. And then I come back later on. I might come back again. That's a lot of hours on here. So got to spread the love. Um, and anyways, he's happy in the garage building the shelf. That's what I'm going to tell you. He's building this wooden shelf in the garage to lift off the stuff so we can figure out we won't have issues with these stupid little mice. Um, that's what we're doing. So, and make it nice and neat in the garage. So he, he looks like he's so happy. He's like in his world building this shelf and I'm staying away, not being a nag and I'm just staying in the house, let him do his thing. And then I'll go back and say, good job. <laughs> um, oh, I got some mess in my glasses. So it's good to see Paul. Paul, hey, you guys, just you want to spread the word. This is something we're going to have fun with, I hope. Uh, hi, Eric. Are those? No, no, those aren't real. That's just a decor to get people's attention. And it worked. No, that's I, I do crafting, as you know, Eric. So um, I crafted these. I made these up when I was in Arizona last year or whatever. I'm starting to forget that part. But when I was in Arizona, I printed these out on a really good printer, cut them out, and I use them for crafts and stuff. So I just thought it was kind of a, uh, I'd mix my little craft part with my butterfly thing. And they look about the right size of a butterfly. So no, those are not real. They would not stay still like that. They'd be all over my bedroom, all over the house if I had them loose. But thanks for asking.
Uh, I was having fun here and being a cheeky. You were right. You long well, glad you're having. Didn't you tell me you're having a good day today, David? Aren't you having like a nine, ten day today again? Um, Eric, their paper missing some specially out then out. They are real pictures of butterflies. Yes, they are. They're actually real pictures of butterflies. Yes, they printed real pictures of butterflies and then I cut them out. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, they are. I took pictures of butterflies, blew them up on a, on a screen, set it to print, and then I printed them out. Yeah, that's true. That's what a butterfly looks like. And if you notice, they're all female because I don't have any black ones. Like there's no two dots. That's a, that's a really good one. Hey, thanks, Willie. You just reminded me. Let me show you something. When the butterfly is born, and I'm going to show you on my hand what it looks like. It'll, it, the wings will flop, but it's, it, 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 they have to dry out, so it can't fly away right away. That's why you get a chance to kind of hold it. But if you look, here's my hand. If you look, there'll be a dot here and a dot here, and these veins are a lot smaller. That's what's going to happen. So this is a good example of what I'm trying to show you. Um, yeah, you're going to see it. Two dot, two black dots. Again, somewhere in here, some of the lower lever wings will have two black dots, smaller veins up here, and that'll be a male butterfly. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. I got nine people in, five thumbs up. Thank you very much. I am excited and stoked, and I can't wait to do it again. Because look, if I had my way, I'd be building like a, a house um, outside, like all screened in where no mice or rodents or anything to get into it. And I would have them all be in a certain little house. And then when they're ready, I just open the door and let them fly loose. That's kind of if I had my choice of how I would do this. I would raise, raise them in, in quantity, keeping an eye on them, and let them go. But so far, the most I've actually raised is two at the same time. So I'm looking. I'm looking on milkweed, and I want to show you exactly right close up in the camera what you're looking for, but I don't can't find one yet. So when I find the next set, I'm going to bring the – I'm going to show you the egg on it, what you're looking for. Because don't get mistaken, there's aphids on there, little yellow things, and those are terrible creatures that you want to destroy. Uh, the reason they have two dots on the wings, they look like – uh, so other predators do not attack the butterfly. Thank you, Andy. The Lumex says, nice job. Thank you, Andy. Welcome. The reason they have the two, uh, they look like eyes, so other predators do not attack. Yeah, but it's funny, though, that it's only on the, the male, Will. So I guess that's the male protection, but what about the female protection? There's no eyes on them. Um, so Andy, where do I know you from? And good evening, Andy Lemieux. And we welcome, Andy, you've been here on my channel before. Thank you for coming. Yeah, this is where, if you guys find anything to do with the monarch butterfly, thanks, Will, for shoving that out there. You guys know anything, add it on the screen, because everybody will learn from what you guys say, what you find out about a monarch butterfly, and I don't have an answer or I don't say anything, shove it out there. So I like that you did. Oh, did, did I meet you before from Canada? Ah, isn't it okay? And happy uh, July 1st. Did you have a good holiday? That was just yesterday. Happy July 1st to Andy because he's Canadian. And um, our friends from the U.S. is going to celebrate pretty soon. So that's what, today's the second, third, and fourth. That's their big day. July 1st, 4th. And I'll be celebrating July 4th with them. I would. If I could set up a firework for you guys, I would. But uh, I'd probably get put in prison. So we're, that's not our holiday. So technically... If you start doing fireworks on a day that's not considered a holiday, uh, you can get in trouble for that one. I did love my country. I do love my country. That's cool, Andy. So do I. And we all love our countries. And it's cool. And it's cool to get along with everybody all over the world. And they love all their countries. And we can all love our countries. Just don't think you're any better than anyone else because none of us are. That's the point that I'm going to make. Love your country. Be proud of your country. But don't think you're any better than any other country because, no, no one should be ahead of anybody else. Nobody rules. We're all equal. They do, Rachel, is supposed to confuse the other insects that are not good for the butterflies. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let me read that again. They do, Rachel, is supposed to confuse 
other insects that are not good for the butterflies. Interesting. I like it. Um, I, yeah, I think that's really co cool information. That's good. Well, thank you for throwing that down. I love it. I love it. Just like who was here with me the other day that we were talking about. Um, I see, I learned even more, you know, doing this three years, I freaking still fascinated. I learned more and more and more and more. And I love it. Uh, some please are better than others. Wealth, safety, etc. Some places are better than other wealth, uh, health, safety. So yeah. Okay. That's probably true. Um, we have a burn, wait a minute, uh, burn ban. We're not sure we're going to have fireworks this year. The ground too dry. Oh yeah. Cause that's dangerous. Oh my God. I, it's been known to be dangerous. You could actually start forest fires with fireworks. If it's, you're doing it in the wrong time of season, got to be careful with those fireworks. Well, that's for sure. So anyways, um, I was going to say that was the other day, six eyes. It has, they don't see very well. Um, that was with you. Will. it was somebody else saying about the six eyes that the butterflies have and their, uh, tentacles is their feelers. They're called feelers. And that's what helps them guide them because their six eyesights aren't that good. It was really cool. See, and I learned that. That was just so many live streams ago. Well, within 14 days because I've been doing this for 14 days in a row. Um, we um, So it's cool. Very cool. And I want to thank you guys for joining me. And like I said, pass the word out, please, if you can. If you know somebody that wants to be educated on the butterflies, uh, please. Anybody that falls within the states or Canada that falls within where the monarch butterfly migrates, please, if you can, grow some milkweed. Wherever you are, it's going to help. So give some milkweed out there, get some growing. I did it myself. I've just been telling two days ago, one of the babies not taking, but so far three, four of them are taking, and I'm going to get some more uh, where I planted them. So I'm going to be protecting, now that I know all about milkweed, how vital it is, I'll be protecting the milkweed around my area. Um, and actually I'm going to even probably, I'll get the word out to my neighbors too. I think slowly, I'm going to tell them how important it is and see if they'll grow some matter of fact, I, I hate to tell you the job that we're doing and I'll say my husband and I in the back, um, some of my neighbors want me to do it in their back. So they really like the fact of where it's going with cleaning up the whole back and making nature and butterflies and all that in the controlled boxes, uh, you know, recycled wood. I think we've been getting a lot of compliments actually from it. And one of them was a, one of them kept saying it to us and found out he was a professor at the university, uh, our local university of Windsor. And he kept saying it. He didn't just say it once. He kept saying, I really like what you guys are doing back here. Is it ever really nice? It's, you know, it's just clean and nice and, and full of nature. And um, everybody seems to be happy. Everybody gets along with each other. And I'm talking with nature back there. Uh, David, you need to go do something you like to do. To, to, today, today's due to my depression. I can't be 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, out 10 all the time. But sometimes I sound different each day. That's okay. That's okay, David. No one wants you to be 10 out of 10. No one is. I'm not. No one is. Where are all the babies? You're talking about butterfly babies, Andy? Because it's very hard to find them, but I finally spotted that two, um, what, yesterday, the day before, I think it's two days ago, I spotted one monarch butterfly near my house and another monarch butterfly. Yeah, they're hard to spot. They're coming now, but um, you got to keep your eye on them, Andy. The eggs are really hard to spot and predators eat them all the time. Oh, you too, Will. Have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, Andy, you got to keep your eye. But what I recommend, rather than than uh, raising a monarch butterfly, which I already took, took, takes at least 25 days out of your time to really pay attention, 25 days. So if you can't do that, it's better off just growing milkweed. It's way better for it. It's actually better than actually raising monarch butterflies because... I can only replace one at a time, two at a time, maybe 10 at a time, maybe 20 at a time. But milkweed can help raise many of them. So it's much better. It's much better to promote the milkweed. Yes, 
Absolutely, Susan. We are not forgetting David. Um, what did you say you felt like today? Oh, you're welcome, Andy. Um, Andy, if you're anywhere near, you're in Canada, you're probably in the zone of where they, they, they go. So I don't have, I was going to start doing a map because it was really awkward. They show where the migration part is. It comes from Mexico and through the certain states like Florida um, and all the way down to Michigan and across to Ontario. Um, but I don't recognize the all where the states are on a map. So what I got to do actually is get a printer, print the United States map and to Mexico and Canada. And then I'm going to come back and say, okay, these are the states that should be growing um, milkweed because that's the line on the monarch butterfly. Now, um, to make it even more impressive, okay, this is what I take care of. Um, you guys got to, got to take care of the local butterflies in your area. I will be doing a live stream at 6 p.m. on Tuesday Eastern. Let me do this again. Next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to come up with, it'll be a, a thumbnail of a monarch butterfly, and we will be talking about all the butterflies from all over the world. So if you happen to be in my live stream, again, 6 p.m. Tuesday night, Eastern Standard, and you're in my live stream, I'll, I'm going to say, okay, where are you from again? Like, for instance, Rachel's from New Orleans. So if Rachel happens to be at my live stream, I'm going to go. I'm going to go on my OBS and I'm going to put out pictures of butterflies that happen to be that are um, what's live around New Orleans. OK, um, and it will also probably tell me if the, the butter, butterflies near her area. And I'm not sure it is, but I'm just saying that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yes, I hope y'all have a winner now. So if if um, David comes in. Yeah, thanks. Super nice. Rachel, you did teach me more. Yeah. Everybody's going to help David and Rachel's. Yeah. We know how to solve that. Everybody together will help whatever you're, you're suited for and you're trained for and you know what to do. Please throw it out to help somebody else. Of course, that's a cool thing. Yeah. Cold outside. So anyways, if David Dwani comes in or hi-ho from Australia, I'm going to be finding pictures of um, local to Australia, what butterflies live in Australia. Um, so that's what, it's going to be fun. It's going to, I'm going to educate myself as along with educating you guys about what kind of butterflies live all over the world. What, what is um, naturally, what's the habitat of where each butterfly lives and where they live, depending on where you live, something like that. So that should be a lot of fun. That's going to be next Tuesday night on this channel, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, guys. And thanks for posting that, Susan. Absolutely. You never give up. Absolutely, Rachel. I think David's meant to come here and, you know, um, you know, David, what I told you before, try not to stay too quiet because that's not good for you. Even if you're having a bad day. Come and talk to us. Uh, get your mind off of it. Um, if you're having a low day, tell us. And then we can all try to put some jokes, something to make you happy and cheer you up. Never, ever let yourself get down too low because it's really hard once you get low in depression to pull yourself back up. So we're here for you. Absolutely. Absolutely, we're here for you. So, um, and... That's about it. I'm hanging in there for a couple more minutes, guys, till the 45 minute. Uh, and thank you so much, um, Paul, for the donation. It was awesome. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, 102 degrees. You got to be in air conditioning, Rachel, aren't you? Got to be in air conditioning. Got to, got to, got to be in air conditioning. Well, so close to my 45 minutes because I got to haul my butt outside, uh, check on everything, see how my unit is going in the garage, and plus go water some stuff. But yeah, Andy, I hope you come back. I do a vlog every day, and I'm on in the morning, and come on and join us. But if you don't make it, this is the one thing I say. If you can't make it to any of the live streams, then watch this video. Watch, see how it's going. See how you read the monarch butterfly is really important to me. So if you can't be at my live streams, or especially this one, 
uh, watch the blog. Tell me, I'm going to talk to everybody and we'll put things, type things on that, that are important to the Monarch Butterfly. Keep in touch. Right now we're counting down eight days. Okay, before I get off, I just want to stress this again. I think it's roughly 11 days that it comes out of its chrysalis. So we're on, we have eight days to go. If it does, if it's not born before on that eighth day, I will be live streaming four hours on a quiet stream. I'm taking my sound off, but I want to capture this on my camera for my live stream. So you can come in and out the door, say hello to everybody. Um, hi. Um, and if any mods there will say, oh, she's around, but she's just doing this to see to catch everything on film. Uh, I definitely would like to catch it on film so that you guys can see it. If you're not here for the first time seeing it come open. You can actually see it uh, coming from the chrysalis on a replay. So that's all I'm going to say. Anyways, uh, thank you very much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Anybody knows me, come back see me in the morning if you're not doing nothing. And, of course, I will do vlog 15 tomorrow night, to sometime in the afternoon or at night. Take care, guys. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for coming. There's my hand. Bye.